Uh, but also this idea of do nothing, which I'm, I'm very excited about because, you know, so many people, so many people have been working long, what seems like endless hours, and, you know, they're, they're stressed out, they're, they've got fatigue, and I, I'm going to venture a guess that they're less productive. Yeah, they are less productive. Um, and we've actually known this for well over 100 years. Um, we know that people who work very long hours are actually, so when you when they do scientific studies and they break people up into how many hours they work, uh, for example, a long study they did of sciences in research labs, the most productive were those that worked maybe 12 to 20 hours a week. The least productive, they were the ones that worked long hours. And I do want to put in one sort of very serious warning here, which is we just got mess uh, we just got research um, right, uh, results from the WHO in conjunction with the Inter International Labor Organization. And we know that actually working more than 55 hours per week for any extended period of time can lead to premature death. Wow. Like it's serious, you have to keep it down. Yeah, because I think I think you call it hustle culture, um, which you know started ages ago. But we have an yeah. I want to say an opportunity now to to reset and refocus who we want to be as as we you know come out of this. Yeah, I'm so glad that you said that because a lot of people are talking about returning to normal, and I would like to not talk about that because normal was not good for us. Before the pandemic, we were already in trouble. I would like to talk about this as just a reset point, right? Your, your smartphone is screwing up. What do you do? You do a hard reset. <laughs> and so let's, let's do a hard reset here and think about what was not serving us in our habits. Were we really happy and, and energetic uh, all the time before the pandemic, mm. right? Or were we overworked before 2020 came and 2020 just made it worse? So let's talk about how we create new habits. And one of the first things is, is you have to find out where your time is going. I mean, people will will spend time searching through zoos, shoes on Zappos or something, and they won't realize that 90 minutes goes by, right? right. So you need to start figuring out where your time is going instead of it just being sort of this mindless time suck through your phone and your computer.